Buddhist flags mark the entrance to this new settlement in Myanmar's northern Rakhine state. These ethnic Rakhine have moved up country now that most of the area's Rohingya Muslims have gone. A military campaign has forced some 700,000 Rohingya to flee to Bangladesh since August, in violence the UN calls ethnic cleansing. We were really afraid of those Muslims and didn't plan to come here. But now they're no longer here, we have the chance to live near our relatives again. With the Rohingya out of the way, Myanmar's powerful military and the civilian government have also started some major construction work. Rights groups say it's often happening on top of what were once Rohingya villages, burned down and bulldozed since the latest unrest flared last August. The authorities counter, insisting it's development that will benefit all communities. The villages weren't organized in a systematic way because they were built many decades or even a century ago. Many Rohingya have lived in Myanmar for generations and fear that if they flee over the border, they might never be able to come back home. Several thousand are stuck in a no man's land between the two countries. We have no intention to enter Bangladesh. We are not Bengali. So we are in Myanmar ordinary city. Myanmar doesn't accept the term Rohingya, instead calling them Bengalis, viewing them as illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. Those that are still in Myanmar often face exploitation and discrimination. There are threats and also attacks, but in spite of this people do not want to leave their native land and they overcome these kinds of difficulties. A deal signed by Myanmar and Bangladesh in November to allow the refugees to come back is fast losing credibility. None have returned so far. In the meantime, their lands have been stripped and are changing beyond all recognition. <coughs>